Hi friends, today I'm going to show you how to VM the Windows Server 2012 on Proof Cell Server. So first of all I'll show you the system properties and what is the status of the server. Here you can see Windows is not activated. So and here also you can see Windows license is expired and it is on and it was a Windows Server 2012 Lord to Data Center Evaluation version. So I'm going to rearm this server to extend my evaluation period. For that I need to go to start and open command prompt as administrator. So keep in mind that if you want to run those commands, you need to open the command prompt as an administrator with the elevated privileges. That is, if you run, click this run as administrator, then the command prompt will open as a elevated privileges. So the command which I'm going to run was slmgr. You can just go to the help and we can check what are the commands which are available for this. See, these are the commands which are available for this. These are the switches which are available for this command. Just check. And the command which I'm going to use is rearm. Forward slash rearm. You can check and you can use this switch. Just give OK. And what are the windows which are opening? You just, just give OK. Why well, I'm going to run the command? SLM. GR slash Leon. So this window needs to get opened because then only it ensures that the command was successfully completed. And to finish this command completely, you need to restart your system. So now I'm going to reboot my system. The server was rebooting successfully without any issues. Since I am running this server on the virtual machine, it was taking so much time to reboot. And the minimum RAM required for working with the virtual station is uh, Windows for Windows Server 2012 R2 is at least 2 GB is required. So keep in mind, and uh, for running this server, you completely need at least 8 GB of RAM or at least 4 GB of RAM. It was taking so much time, and so I just passed my video and came again. I'm just going to enter the password. Yeah. And now I'm going to go to the system properties.
the loading was taking time so no issues in this I'm just closing the server manager window just taking much time because all the services need to be started and now here you can see that there was no windows expiry message and still the windows was not activated this is because this is a default version evaluation version that was released by microsoft so if you need to activate you need to just hit this activate windows button and you need to enter the key that is the original key which you have bought from the microsoft and after that you can see this evaluation word will get removed and before that if you activate it then it will ask for internet to activate the windows server 2012 r2 and also it will ask for some other updates that needs to be installed before using this server so i think you have learn something from this video and thank you for watching this video